Just put a lift kit on the Jeep, got four inches of additional clearance, and you know what time it is? It's time to put these bad boys on. These right here. Woo! Let's do it. What is up guys and welcome back. First off, let me apologize real quick. My microphone went out. I've been having problems as you know, but I got a new one. Just came in. I'm recording it on this right now. So check it out. Well, I'm just telling you right here, these tires that I went with were 35 inch tires on a 17 inch rim and they are 12 and a half inches wide. Now, you can pick anything you want. You can go with 17, 16, 15s, 18s, 19s, 20s, whatever. Bigger tire, little tire, whatever you want. It's up to you. Now one of the things you will need is a high lift jack or a farm jack. Uh, this one here is a four footer. Uh, your stock stuff won't be big enough to get up that high anymore once you're lifted with the wheels and all that. So uh, uh, only other notes I have is uh, notice the, the tread on the tires. I've got kind of a mud pattern. I want that aggressive look. You could uh, be a little bit noisy for you or you could go with a more of like a, a highway rated tire or whatever or something in the middle. It's up to you. Now some of the uh, high topics of discussion on Jeep forums and stuff is like where do I use or where are my contact points on these high lift and, and once I get big wheels and lift kits and all that. Now if you have a full armor bumper which is real thick heavy steel you can go right from the bottom. I didn't want to risk bending my bumper and stuff so I just used the D hook clevises right there in the front as you see in the front and the back. Uh, you can also, some guys use a chain, they'll put a chain in between the two of them and use a link or whatever that way it'll be in the middle and pick up the whole front end so there's all kinds of options you can do I just want to add note that I did install the lift kit went through step by step on my channel you can check that out I did also do a prior video to everything you would need to do that lift kit check them out make sure you get you some lock nuts got them all lined up here nice little kit looking like some ammo here's an interesting picture I wanted to show you of the Jeep Half of it's jacked up on a lift kit, half of it's not. Check that out. Time for that stock tire to go, bruh. There she goes. Notice the difference. And before we put the other one on, there's the new suspension. Uh, again, like that video is all up there step by step. And here comes your new 35 to fill in all your voids. There we go. Check out the difference with 35 in the front, stock tire in the back. I mean, <laughs> night and day, holy crap. So I got her off the jack stands down on the ground, and then you can see the difference right there. Stock with a lift versus the 35 with the lift. I mean, I don't I don't think you get the scale until you see a person standing by it. I'm almost 6'3" and look at a person standing next to these. All right, there she is done. Take a little walk around, look around. I love how you can see the mechanical stuff from the bottom now, all the bars and all the, the sway bar and then the, the track bar from the back and all that. Now in this next video I got coming up here, I'm gonna break off a separate video. I'm gonna show you uh, how to attach a 35 to the spare carrier because it won't fit on that stock one. You gotta buy one or you gotta make one, you gotta do something. And I'll show you a cheap option I found. I think you'll love it. So check back for that or subscribe. So this right here is one of the most important parts of the video. Uh, when I first started, a couple videos back, I measured the Jeep when it was sitting there stocked right to that green mark. And it was 35 inches right to the fender where it was. Now this one here, after the lift kit, which gave us 4 inches, and after the 35, it measures at 41, or just under 41 so it went from 35 to just under 41. So we'll call it five and a half, almost six inches of lift. And thankfully, they're even. I got one more surprise for the Jeep, something for the wife. If you've got the Wrangler, you know they hide those little decals all throughout the Jeep. Like this one here, you probably already found this one. Like that little guy? They had those on the wheels too, little Jeep emblems. So I had those custom made for the black. I got white ones. Right there they are. We're gonna put one on each wheel.
Here we go, just like factory, but not. This is what it looks like to drive. It's nice and smooth. As you can see, if I get up on this truck right here, <laughs> I'm hired he is. <laughs> What's up, bro? What's up, bro? That is all I have for today. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you didn't like the video, make sure you check out the people on the bottom of my channel called Bad Mofos. Hours and hours of fun. Check them out, check them out. Whoop. Hey guys, thanks again for watching. Take care, later, peace.